Well, for the second day in a row, the Blue Jays lose. And they lose 7-5 to the Baltimore Orioles tonight. And it, it, today was another game where the Jays score runs but give them right back. Mike Bolsinger was on the mound to start for the Jays, and he didn't pitch very well whatsoever. He went five and a third, gave up six hits, four runs. He walked five guys in five and a third. That is really, really rough. But the Jays, the Jays came to play with the bats, right? They, you know, they started off early with Kenrys Morales with the, uh, you know, he didn't get an RBI, but it was a ground out double play, but a run scored to make it one nothing Jays. And then you get into the bottom of the first where you give it right back to them as we always love. Mark Trumbo singles to left. Adam Jones scores in the play. Third uh, third inning. Manny Machado uh, hits a home run in the third, making it a 2-1 game. Then Mark Trumbo hits a two-run shot. It's 4-1 uh, in, in favor of the Orioles. And this is in the fifth inning. Sixth inning, Justin Smoke, uh, this guy's ridiculous, hits a home run to center on a 1-2 count, making it a 4-2 ball game all right and then jose bautista hits a three run shot to put the jays on top five four big three run inning right with 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 that three run bomb but what happens in the bottom of that inning wellington castillo hits a three run shot of his own so you give those three runs right back and you're down seven five and that's the way it ends you know, I continue to say it throughout the season. When the Blue Jays score runs and then they give run the, the runs right back, it is so frustrating. Especially, you know, it was almost it was pretty much every other well, it was every other inning the Baltimore Orioles uh, scored, and it didn't help that you know your offense was there. You scored five runs, you clawed back from a four-one deficit to take the five-four lead, but then your bullpen implodes. You know, Aaron Loop gives up the base hit, or gives up the hit. Then Danny Barnes comes in. He gets two outs, but he gives up four hits and two runs score. Uh, one of them was Aaron Loop's, and two of them of his own. And then you're down. You know, you take that 5-4 lead. Everyone's fired up, and then you just give it away. It just kills the momentum for your team. You know, we've seen that of late. And we saw it again tonight. Now what the Jays have done. You think about it. They have lost five of their last six. After they won six in a row. Or excuse me, five in a row. You lose. You know, five of... You lost five of six. So bottom line, you're pretty much right back to where you started from with those... Um, you know, when you had the win streak. That's the problem. When you have a win streak... And you lose a game after that. You've got to find a way to rebound. And the Jays have not. They have not been able to rebound. If we're looking at positive news, Pilar was back. He went two for five and scored a couple runs. Great. Russell Martin made his, uh, I wouldn't say debut, but his return. Uh, he was one for four in his return. But Aaron Sanchez, for the third time this season... Back on the 10-day DL. There is something wrong right now. And I don't care if Aaron Sanchez sits out a month now. Get this guy healthy. Because I'm sick and tired of seeing him on the 10-day DL. And then seeing him come back and we're like, great, he's back. And then over the you know every game, every inning, we're seeing you know this. We're seeing, looking at his fingers. And then, boop, he's back on the DL again. It's frustrating. And it doesn't help that Mike Bolsinger, you know, doesn't help your team much either. Walking five guys really hurts your team. You limit those walks to one or two, it could be a different ball game. But instead, you walk five and they score, what was it, four against them. It sucked. I don't know what to say with this team right now, you know. They got Pilar back and they got Russell Martin back. Didn't seem to help. Their bullpen imploded this time. And the pitching wasn't there. It's From one day to the next, it's something different. And that's the most frustrating part. You know, we talk about, you know, last night's game. 
about we couldn't come up with the big clutch hit. Um, you know, he only scored the three runs. It sucked, and it could you know you could have had that game wrapped up, but you couldn't manufacture runs. You couldn't drop a bunt down offensively. What happens today? The starting pitching wasn't good, and the bullpen wasn't good, but the backs were good. You know, you look at the other, you look at the Atlanta series where you lost three of four. All four games, your offense was decent, but your pitching blew in the first three. It's just, like I said, from one day to the next, it's something different. And that's the most frustrating part. You know, we look at tonight's game and you say, well, the bullpen gave up some tough runs and the starting pitching sucked. Okay. Well, if they can improve that for tomorrow, can Marco Estrada give you a solid outing? Can you get clutch hits against Wade Miley? We're going to have to wait and see. Because we don't we don't know from one day to the next what we're going to get from this offense, from the bullpen, and from our starters. Estrada's had a rough time of late. Bullsinger's had a ridiculously rough time in the bigs. So what do you do? I mean, it's killing me. All right? So you know what, guys? That is going to do it for this one. If you guys enjoyed the video, hey... Smack that like button. I do appreciate that. Hit the subscribe button if you guys have not already. Comment down below. What do you guys think of this game? I mean, what have you thought of the Jays' play of late? Do you have any answers? Because I'm, I'm grabbing at straws here. It's difficult. But let me know what you guys think, and we'll talk to you guys Monday, Raptors edition. That is, Well, tomorrow is Sunday, and then Monday the Jays are off, and Monday will be, like I said, we'll be getting the Raptors off-season or pre-season. Nah. I can never say it. Season review and off-season preview. That will come out Monday uh, afternoon-ish. Stay locked to the Twitter, guys, and I'll let you know. Let you guys know when that'll be uploaded. Um, just a heads up there. Also, Jay's edition tomorrow afternoon as they look to salvage one of this three-game series against the Baltimore Orioles. Mark Estrada, Wade Miley is the pitching matchup. I want to win. My team lost both games tonight. And the Jays lost. Let's get a win tomorrow. Get all these bitter tastes out of our mouths, eh? Nothing we can do. We can just hope and pray and hope the guys come out firing tomorrow. We'll talk to you guys then.